Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and today I'm going to talk about Sailor Moon. Now, um, I first learned about Sailor Moon, at least found out about her, when I saw the commercial for the, do for the dolls back when I was um, 8 years old. Of course, I didn't ask for them because, well, boys don't ask for dolls. We ask for action figures. Well, anyway, I should well after that. I started watching um, a few episodes, and uh, well, uh, I was just only because I was curious because you know I wanted to know what this whole Sailor Moon thing was all about. And you know, um, I did see some episodes, but the uh, thing is that uh, it just didn't do it for me. I mean, I was I never got into it. It's back when I was a kid, mostly because you know it was targeted towards uh, young girls, and you know. Since I was a small boy at that time, then uh, you need to see why. And also, uh, I was a big fan of Power Rangers that um, no other show didn't um, couldn't outdo it. At least uh, that was what I think at the time. And then, oh yes, and also you know back then I didn't tell anybody that was watching it because Sailor Moon, of course. Because uh, I didn't want to be made fun of. And like I said before, it was because the reason was because the show was intended for girls, and yeah, things back then were. Um, but of course, these days, uh, nobody cares. Now, um, let's see. Oh, yes, uh, a few years later, uh, I think I was doing my early teens, well, um, I found episodes of Sailor Moon on Cartoon Network's Tsunami Blog. And it was back when Tsunami, you know, went from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. But uh, I didn't watch any of the shows on the blog, but it's because, well, for one thing, I had karate lessons, but I think that was going on. Oh, I also forgot to mention that another reason I stopped watching, you know, uh, Sailor Moon back when I was a kid was I had piano lessons that was going on at the same time that cartoon was airing at a... Um, Uh, on the channel, it, I was watching it on. Now, um, see, oh yes, and then uh, oh, and the reason reason I didn't watch um, shows of Tsunami on a regular basis was because um, on days I didn't have karate lessons, I would watch um, reruns of Seven Heaven and uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch on the WB56. And we also were watching reruns of Full House on DBS. So, once again, I didn't watch a regular series, any episode of Sailor Moon on a regular basis. Then, um, after a, a few years, after I became an adult, well, um, I started to see a lot of, you know, Sailor Moon stuff on the internet. You know, uh, fans who talk about at the time growing up with the series, how much they enjoyed it, and I started to uh, realize how popular that the franchise has become. And also, well, I did some research on, you know, the history of Sailor Moon, and well, um, I did learn that, well, uh, the cartoon or anime was based on a manga by uh, I forgot uh, how to say her name. I cannot pronounce it, but um, yes, it was based on uh, a manga series, which was a follow-up to another series known as Golden Name Sailor V, which was about uh, Sailor Venus back when she was very grand as Sailor V. Now, um, and let's see. Oh yes, I also learned that um that the series came from Japan and also that the anime originally aired in Japan and then you know it was dubbed into English for the Western audience of course um, the company DIC who dubbed it well um, they kind of made some alterations to the original because well um, there were some things in the original anime that was not considered, you know, a 
proper for film and television. I mean, maybe some of this stuff uh, isn't a big deal in Japan, but back in the 90s, you know, there were a lot of, you know, sensitive parents and they didn't want children, you know, to be exposed to certain things. And uh, I don't know, I remember if I mentioned this uh, already, but yes, the company DIC, uh, and I had to see the letters because, well, um, so there'd be no misunderstanding if I actually say the actual name. Yes, the, uh, the oh yes, uh, and another thing I learned was that um, Han Saban wanted to adapt the Sailor Moon franchise as well, however, uh, DSC uh, won the rights to it. And uh, this is footage of a uh, panel of a convention. I never been to that one, but um, suddenly put it up on YouTube and well, you could see what could have been and a lot of fans well, um, are happy that uh, it never came to be. Now, um, another thing I learned, well, um, let's see. Oh yes, one day, you know, um, years ago, uh, when I was told, um, I think I've been using YouTube for, watching videos on YouTube for a few years, but, um, well, for some reason, I decided to type in live action to the moon and, and look around YouTube just to see what happened, and I came across the opening for a live action Sailor Moon series that originally aired in Japan back in 2003. Well, maybe it was 2004, but it was the first and only official live action Sailor Moon series to wear. Now, there are some fan films of Sailor Moon, you know, those are live action, but this one was made by Toei, the company that uh, owns Sailor Moon, at least uh, the series that we that makes the Sailor Moon uh, series, as well as, you know, Tokusatsu series like uh, Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. And, well, um, I did see uh, after I started watching the Life Action Sailor Moon series, I actually enjoyed it. And this was the series that uh, officially made me a fan of Tokusatsu. Now, uh, I know the special effects, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, the title of the Life Action Sailor Moon series is Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, or PGSSM for short. Now, uh, full episodes used to be on YouTube for free, but it was removed, and I understand why. However, if you want to see, uh, check out um, the series, the Life Action series, you can, you know, type in Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon and episode number, and then, uh, Maybe you'll find some results um, we can watch it on. Yes, and also, it's because of the Life Action Sailor Moon series that um, I refer to the characters by the original Japanese names instead of uh, the English ones they were given by DIC. For example, like, I say Yusaki instead of Serena, Ami instead of Amy. Really? Well, he sounds the same, but uh, it's spelled differently. And see, oh, Mako instead of Lita, and Minago instead of Mina. And as for uh, the pseudo mask or the pseudo comment, I say uh, oh, Momoru instead of Darian. And also, I say the pseudo comment instead of the pseudo mask. And I guess it must be because, you know, after watching, you know, every episode of the Life Action Sailor Moon series, I've gotten used to it. So, um, yes. Oh, and I have uh, read the Sailor Moon manga as well. I bought it, you know, I completed buying all the volumes that uh, was in Comic Con. Of course, I bought uh, four volumes each year until I finished the collection. But, um, yes, I did read it, but eventually I kind of, you know, I'll give it away to the public library because, well, there was one volume that had something that I like, which I'm not going to mention, 
But anyway, yeah, take it away. But if I want to reread the manga, I could always say, uh, you know, read it digitally. Oh, and also, uh, I, I did, oh yeah, I forgot to mention about the uh, live action Sailor Moon series. Well, um, the series, they had a lot of uh, good songs in Japanese. They're all Japanese, but um, even though I don't understand what they're saying, uh, the songs are really catchy and I really enjoy hearing them. In fact, there was one song I enjoyed from the series called Sailor V by Anominago, aka Sailor Venus. And it's a really good song. And if you on YouTube and type in um, I know me Nico, Sela V, you can listen to the song and you're gonna like it, trust me. And uh, I think my second favorite would be uh, Roman's Baby. Yeah, also sings by I know me Nico. Now, uh, let's see. Um, Oh, and uh, there is this uh, fan film of, uh, I mean, there's many fan films, but this particular fan film called um, A Sailor Moon the Movie. And uh, it's good. It's not better than, uh, you know, the fish live action series from Japan, but um, in my opinion, it comes a close second. And then, uh, oh, yes, there is also, um, I have also seen. Philemon Crystal. And uh, while well, I, in my opinion, the uh, animation, I think the animation, I like the animation better than the original. But of course, that, uh, yes, my opinion. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, I did see uh, live action, the original Philemon uh, series, but only the first episode, but in three different languages. First time I saw the original Japanese language. The second time I saw it in um, English, and it was the one by DIC, and for them in Spanish, since I come from a Spanish speaking family. And I also learned that uh, the original uh, Sailor Moon anime was uh, read up in, um, yeah, in English by Viz, which is spelled V I C. And let's see, um, oh yes, um, back to Slim and Crystal. Yeah, like I said before, um, I like the uh, um, animation and that series better than the original, but uh, that's just my opinion. So, um, yes, Sailor Moon is a very popular franchise, and without it, I wouldn't even uh, learn about the magical girl genre. And you know, whenever I go to conventions and see uh, pictures of um, any girls such as Sailor Moon or any of the other Sailor Senji, uh, I would ask for them a picture as well. Yeah, also, I say Sailor Senji instead of Sailor Scout. Yeah, so um, even though I'm not. Um, a hardcore Sailor Moon fan, I do have respect for it, and, and, and anybody who likes it, then uh, that's fine, because, you know, if they like it, they don't like it, then uh, I'm fine with that. So, I think that's all I can say about Sailor Moon in this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.